And then this bot lane. We just we have a lot more damage than them as long as they can't get to us. So we're just going to try to kite out bottom here. Maybe push for level 2 advantage. We'll see how the lane goes. We'll see what the jungler does. Oh, I will start binding here, though. We can go look for something level 1. We've got quite a bit of damage level 1 here. So as long as we get that CC. I did not think he would dodge his way out of that binding. Kane has a great start now. He's got uh, Talisman and Machete. He's just gonna go and not need a leech here with all the leech or leech. He has. So we are down Ignite. They could just be in here. Alright. The true dark light. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome, dude. Should have pulled the wave down. Okay, so we didn't do anything there. I'll just see if I can land a binding here and hold them off XP. Alright, Darius already. Maybe you get a ward out. Okay, level 3 I have to go for Black Shield here. Get my Biscuit now, I will use it for mana. Jax is top lane, Darius never went back. Being a sword push state, it's hard to do a lot here. Damn, dude, I knew they were gonna fucking double cheese him. That's what that means. He overstayed on his first, uh, his first kill. And double cheese means Jax went for the gank top lane. So Darius gets forced to TP back because they pushed out the lane hard. Jax circles around and then just re-ganks the lane. went a little too ham on it. Feel my pain. 
Like, the thing about these plays, going ham on something like that, Tom Kench could just walk over and double you Varus, so we've got to play safe around the all-ins. Get infernal, rip. Okay, we just lose lane now. Am I gonna be? Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Watching that fiesta just happen. And now top lane's out of hand. Because Darius has fucked himself. In his builds, trash. Okay, I'm gonna try to roam here. Corky's got package. Kane's around mid. I'll look for something up there. Tom catches six, and he'll probably ult in something. Okay, I gotta go back bottom before they dive him.
Varus almost, or not Varus, but Lucian almost autoed once. Almost! Jesus, dude. What is he doing? Yeah, Ruben is definitely down here. Jax is holding top lane. Fucking shit, dude. I need to roam. I need to get away from Lucian. I don't like playing with him. Dude, this has nothing to do with Tom Kench. Lucian's a shit fucking champ, man. Right, he is very, very tanky, I agree. But Lucian's just garbage champ. Like 47% win rate or something. Like he's not he's not meta at all. Interesting.
I don't see a plan in here. I wanted to get some uh, mana back here. Held the tower. Okay, okay, that works. I don't have any wards though. And they're heralding top. Rip. I don't think I can hold here at all. The Ghost Rider, thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome, men. Dragon is up here. Okay, I've got to get rid of this here. We've got Baron coming up soon. Dragon's still on the map. Varus is going down. I say we rotate right now. Jax's top. Lucian's up there at least to hold the wave.
Okay. They used some shit to try to get me, that's fine. They're still trying to push in that top wave. We just, uh, we need somebody. We don't have another TP. I've got a well, Lucian Goo up there, that's fine. I want to get a warden here quick. Get rid of this shit so they can't TP behind us. So they do have this ward here now. We've got to watch out for that. Um... <laughs> Fun chip! Tom Kent going in on Darius. Yikes! Yeah, Mamoulis, the Rileys is applied on the, uh, when, on the spell hit. So it doesn't really do anything with the binding. It's more so about, uh, helping the cats with the puddle. Or just creating a zone that they can't fucking walk through. The longer they stay in your W anyway, the more damage they're gonna take. And I've got Leandries on it now, too. So it's just gonna be a shitload of damage. Comes that TP. Rip. Darius has his passive up. But he didn't have all T for like two seconds. Holy. What dragon is that? We've got Infernal up in 45 here. Versus the Jax Ribbon, I've gotta go I've kinda got a Gazanias here. I, I wanted to greet it, but I think I've greeted it as long as I can. Okay, we've got two minutes on the next Baron timer. We need to keep eyes on it. Um, the last... All we do is we group five top.
Okay, so with blue, I'm at 45% CDR. We can group top, we can ward around Baron. And then if they do go defend top, we can just rotate back and we can take Baron off this push. And then we go top and we take all the inhibs. I'll just sweep going through here. This tower's free. With two inhibs down, they can't defend shit. GG's! There we go. Like I said, the W zoning is just dumb. Also, you get the uh, the cooldown reduction whenever it ticks, or you land another spell. So you can just spam W's now with Riley's Leandry's on it. And Morgana's just a zoning machine. So not only the W's, but the bindings. So you got the roots, the AoE slow. It just feels really, really good.